Uh, yeah, I'm trying to figure out, um, I just was out on a stop, uh, doing a little recording on the regular traffic stop, and I ran into Sergeant Kemp, okay. and uh, he knew my first name, and I was trying to see how he knew my name. Not every YouTuber starts out as a cop watcher, but I can pretty much guarantee that every YouTuber has encountered police before. A lot of times we see YouTubers posting videos with an interaction with police, and they seem to go viral. You guys, go check out Gambino Green Thumbs channel. Let them know that I sent you. Let's get right to the video, folks. And I ran into Sergeant Kemp. Okay. He knew my first name. And I was trying to see how he knew my name. Because you've come into the station before, sir. So, I came in and reported something anonymously. Okay. So, how would he know my name? You know, not everybody that records police hates police. On the contrary, I think everybody here understands that police should do their job correctly and professionally. It's in their policy, folks. Keep watching. Well, we try to investigate all complaints. We figure out who the complainant is. And then you just pass out the complainant's information to all the officers? Or how would he know my name? He's not a part of the complaint. He's a supervisor. Of traffic stops. Yeah, so we make supervisors aware of those things. Of a traffic stop, though. My, what I was here to report on had nothing to do with a traffic stop. So how would a traffic sergeant know any of my information? Because he's a sergeant. So again, y'all just pass out the information to any reporting person, to all the sergeants, to all the lieutenants, or how do that work? Well, sir, you come in here quite often with a face mask on and videotaping on. Uh-huh. So we make everybody aware of your identity. Okay, so y'all just pass out my information then? No, we don't pass it out. Well, y'all give it out to who? Mm -hmm. So y'all give it out to who? To sergeants. To all the sergeants? Mm -hmm. Why? So we know who you are. What's, what's the important about that? Well, you come in here trying to record us. It seems like you're trying to instigate something. I'm not instigating anything, sir. I only come in here. So what, listen, what, listen. What, what, I'm, I'm about to tell you. I'm about to tell you. If you just give me a second. I only come in here and record my interactions because people lie. Okay. So to have an honest person that won't lie, that's what the video is for. All right, folks. Here's the inside scoop. One of the reasons why I help other channels grow, cops will try to target us one by one. The more people pull out their phones and record, the harder it's going to be to target all of America. This is important, folks. Pull out your phones, start recording them. It's your right to do so. Everyone should be recording police. It's not like I'm in here instigating anything. I never come in here to start problems. I'm only in here to report on the problems that I'm having with officers. Okay. So again, I'm not coming in here to generate any problems or start or antagonize anybody if that's what you guys are calling it because... Well, sir, sir, it's very strange when somebody walks out here with a face mask on. Well, it's COVID. It's not COVID. Yeah, COVID is still out. Is, is it gone? Did they get rid of it somehow? They figured out a way to beat COVID? Is there something I can help you with today? Yeah, I'm asking you some questions about what happened here. How is it possible that all these people just have my information? Is that even a part of your policy? Is that something that you guys can even do by passing out my information to everybody or to all the sergeants? Because not everybody. Sir, you've been into the station before. Okay, and? You've been arrested by our officers before. Correct? And? Okay. That, that officer wasn't there on site. He don't know me, so... He's a, he's a daytime officer, traffic, on top of that. So what would he have to do with my arrest for you guys to be passing him my information? So your name is on a database that we have. Anybody can access your name as a police officer. But you just sat here and told me you make it your business to pass out that information to the sergeants. We don't make it our business. Well, you just said we try to make everyone aware that because who I am, right? You come in here all the time wearing a face. I came here three times. This is the third time. Okay, Not all the time. Okay. So let's just let's stick to the facts because you're making up this narrative that I'm in here all the time. This is this. Well, you just said I'm here all the time. This is the third time. The first time I came here, I spoke to you just to turn in my report. So, OK, so why are you making like I'm here all the time? It's my third time coming here. OK, is there anything I can help you with? Oh, yeah. I just asked why is it or is it protocol? Is it legal? Can you guys pass up my information to sergeants? Yes, we can pass out information to other police officers for officer safety. For officer safety reasons, what's 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 wrong with what I'm doing? I'm not making you guys unsafe. I'm just coming in here recording my interaction. What's so unsafe about that? I don't know. <laughs> you choose to come in here wearing a face mask all the time. It's COVID. It's not COVID. Most people aren't wearing. Okay, face everybody face. can choose to or wear or not wear it, right? Do you have another question, sir? Yeah, I have a few more questions. Okay. Um, what are your other questions? I wanted to identify and get badge numbers of two officers that um, who didn't want to give me their information. I believe the sergeant name is Craig. Okay. And I wanted to get his badge number, and and the dude that's always with him, I think it's Lieutenant Port. Okay, so you. I also right. wanted his badge number. Okay, you already have their names. Okay, I need the badge numbers. For what? For anything I might need to pursue. I need. I want their full information. I need name and badge number. Would you like to file a 
complaint, sir. Wouldn't I need to attach a badge number to that? Nope. You can just write their names on it. So you just gonna refuse to give me the badge numbers then? I don't know their badge numbers. Isn't it possible you can find out you're a sergeant? I don't have their badge numbers on me, sir. I know you don't have them on you, but you can look them up, correct? Okay. And what do you need them for? I just told you, just because I'm a citizen, I want to know because I spoke okay. with him. I don't just give him out just because well, he's a public servant, right? And it's in your policy to identify, right? With your name and badge number or serial number. He didn't give me the rest of his information, sir. He only gave me his name. He only gave me his name. I need the name and the badge number, right? Yes, I do. You have their names. If you'd like to, if you'd like to make a complaint about something, you can use just their names. So you're refusing to give me the badge numbers? I don't have their badge numbers. But you can get it. What you are you the, are you the own um, yes, shift the watch commander? Yes, I am. So you have access to all that information. Okay, and what do you need it for? I just told you. What if I want to make a complaint on them? I need that. You can write it down. I need the name and badge number. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Is there a lieutenant here I can speak to? No, there's no lieutenant. So you're the only person here. You're the highest person here. I'm the watch commander. Right okay, how do I make an appointment to speak to the chief? To see the chief? Yeah. Uh, good luck. Nobody. That doesn't tell me how. Nobody sees the chief. That don't tell me how still. What's the process of trying to get that done? Even if nobody never make it, what's the process of trying to get that done? There is no process for that. So there's no way to speak to the chief? No. Because I was told by another sergeant that I can speak to his administrator okay. to work on setting up an appointment. And now you're telling me that that's not true or, I'll tell you what, or did he lie to me? I'll give you the name of the internal affairs sergeant. You can try I already to know his name. Him. Okay. Well, then you can try to call him to get an appointment with the chief. That's about the only way. That's the only way. And what's the administrator name again? Because I was told to speak to her to set up an appointment. The administrator? Yeah, the administrator. I have no idea who you're talking about. <laughs> That's crazy. So you don't know who the administrator in the building is? We have a lot of administrative staff. Okay, she works on the same floor with Saldina. Saldina. Okay, we have many people that work on the same floor. That's administrators? Yes. We have lots of civilian staff. I think her name is mm, Montana or something like that. Am I correct? Okay, with the M, dude, what's the what's the name of the secretary with the name with the M? I'm not going to give you a civilian employee. Well, she is a public official, isn't she? She's a civilian employee. I'm not going to give you her. I already have it on another video. I just wanted to make sure I had it right. Okay. And, um, yeah, I just wanted to make sure I come in here and make it known that I, because I'm going to get all those reports that you guys sent around so I can see exactly what's being said about me because I think that's kind of suspicious that you guys are conspiring and giving out my information to people, you know. We're not conspiring for anything, sir. I mean, it seemed like it. You're saying it's for safety reasons. I have not, I've done nothing to make your officers unsafe, so I don't see what safety reasons there will be to pass out my information. Sir, if we were conspiring for something, wouldn't you be in handcuffs or something like that right now? Y'all haven't got to it yet. Y'all haven't done anything for you to put me in handcuffs yet. I know. We're not going to. So <laughs> I mean, I know you're not because I'm not going to give you a reason, but what I'm saying is, so what's the reason to pass out my information? Because you said it was for safety reasons. I've done nothing to make any of your officers unsafe, have I? That's not unsafe. This is a public building. This is where you walk into if you want to have encounters with the police and handle business that record and sure. that's here for the police business, right? People that walk in here all the time with face masks on, recording everything. That Sir, this do. face mask is legal. I understand it's legal. But it's so what's wrong with a face mask? Another person okay, she's doing right. something that's legal. She's in a public space. She can record just like I can. Do you have any other questions, sir? I do. Okay, what's your Are question? you willing to speak with me about it? Because it seems like you're ready to just leave. What's your other question? So, I just asked you. Why are you passing out my information to other sergeants that have nothing to do with them? Because I've told you. you don't like what? Them. Okay, what have I done to make officers unsafe for you to feel like it's a you safety don't. reason to give out my information to other officers? You don't like my explanation. There's nothing I'm you saying. haven't told me anything I've done unsafe or that made your officers feel unsafe for you to pass out my information to officers for officer safety. Already, that doesn't make sense. Does that make sense to you? I've already told you. Uh, okay, I can tell you in Spanish too if you want me to. i got an app that can speak in Spanish. Don't try to do me like that, but it's okay. I'll leave you alone. Do you have any other questions, sir? No, nah, you can go ahead about your day. You dismissed. Okay. All right. Appreciate it. Have yep. a nice day, sir. I will. So, yeah, they pass out your information, so you got to watch the police. Every single crime that you can think of, cops have committed them. Every single sin that you could think of, cops have committed them. So what makes cops better than the people? Are they automatic heroes because they get to wear a uniform, a badge, and a gun? Cops don't like transparency and accountability, folks. They absolutely hate the cameras. You can see the disdain that they have for the people that are recording them. But not all cops. I have ran into a lot of cops who have watched my channel before and actually do appreciate what we do. But that's not always the case. Some of these small towns have never had people try to hold them accountable, so they think they own that town.
every single town belongs to the people, folks. But that's not how things are around here in America. A lot of times you see families and companies and even churches owning a town. They use city attorneys and city managers. They write up the contracts with family members' businesses. People, it's time to get your towns back. Start recording all your interactions that you have with government. Start highlighting what you see. If you have stories, not just videos, but stories that you want us to highlight, give us as much information as possible and send them to recordpolicenow at gmail.com. We'll do our best to highlight your situation in your community and we'll do our best to help your channels grow as well. Isn't it funny how government officials hate it when you tell them that you have rights? And why is it that no public officials that we run into know anything about the Constitution and they always seem to show a disdain for it? If this is how things are, then this is no longer America and a free country. We the people need to get it back. It starts by you holding your public officials accountable. Before you guys go, we're going to give you the First Amendment of the Constitution. You have a freedom of speech, freedom of press, freedom of religion, freedom of assembly, and freedom to petition your government for redress of grievances. So important the Second Amendment was written to protect it. If you guys don't know your rights, you don't have any rights. You guys were born with natural rights. These documents were written to limit the scope of authority that government has over the people. That's right, folks. You are in charge of your life. Nobody else. All right, folks, make sure you go subscribe to Gambino Green Thumb. Let them know that I sent you. Thank you all for tuning in. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.